All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Jujutsu Kaisen episode six. I just want to say before the start of the episode, uh, make sure you guys like the video if you like it and subscribe to the channel as always um, for all future reactions. And obviously comment down below because I really always enjoy replying to comments and talking to people about the episode. So without further ado, let's get into the episode right now. <laughs> oh, he's still in there. <laughs> let's go, Yuji. Can't wait to see what happens with this now. How it's gonna evolve from the craziness of the last episode. Episode six after rain. Hmm. Fixing your arm, he says. He just ripped out his heart. <laughs> Sukuno, you bitch. Seeing him basically fight himself, but obviously Sukuno just in his body's form. Is like it's different. Yuji's a cool fireman. Boring. Wow. <laughs> His little scream. Innate domain. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, he's gonna make a pact of some kind. Interesting. I figured he was gonna make some kind of pact. But, like, how he was gonna get out or be already being dead, but apparently not. It's crazy. Two conditions, okay. One minute. What? Wait, so for one minute he wants to be able to take control of the body and the second condition was he'd forget the promise? Then what does he want to do during the minute? Hello? What? Wait, so he's always been able to just like... Huh. Interesting. Really? That's that? Yuji, you're just going to take him how it is? <laughs> I just wanted to give him a little punch. <laughs> Fucking why not? Oh, no, never mind. Oh, okay. No, Yuji's not taking it. All right. Yuji, you're not going to win this. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Yuji, you did not think this through at all. There's no way you're going to win that. Forward look. Hi, <laughs> Giorno Giovanna. Have a dream. <laughs> Back up. Back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> Bro, Gojo's a badass, man. Oh, yeah, true. They would get replaced. I never... No one would follow me. Yeah. Ah, it's a tough situation. Ooh, okay. That'd be interesting. Can't wait to meet them. It's nice to see that, like, the characters we haven't met yet, they're, like, not, like, blacked out or anything like that, like they normally are when they, you know... Oh! Morning! <laughs> oh, I love this show. Everything about it is just going, in the meantime, put this on. <laughs> oh, how did you come back, Yuji? Well, I thought I was going to fight Sukunu, but it turns out he sliced my head in half. <laughs> God, I, lo I actually love this show. Every single week is just like... And the fact, like I said last week, where the show is just like, it doesn't pull punches on how strong the strong people are. Sukuno then, when he was like, all right, I'll agree to your condition. <laughs> Yuji dead. Oh my god. I just love it. It's just the little things like that. It makes this so, show so interesting and so much different to other show, uh, anime. Oh. What is the, What are the curses? What kind of effect is the curses having on this guy? Ooh. Prison realm. Interesting. What? <laughs> oh, the curses can have like effects on the surroundings. Hmm. Interesting. Huh? Bro, is this Fire Force? He's combusting? What's going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Woman, you need to get out of here. Uh, This guy is eight to nine fingers? Oh my god, I thought this was like a low-end demon. But then he has like full intelligence and full ability to speak and stuff. Oh wow, okay. How would this be explained to the public? What the? Oh my god. He has to go and explain this to him. Oh, it's no, this is the woman from the, um, for the prisoner. Oh, okay. How is he explaining it to her then? Like, to make it sound, like, to cover up the idea of a curse. Aw. At least he did this for her. Aw, that's so sad. 
And he, he, the inmate did a horrible thing, but like, you know, the last person in the world you can probably rely on is your mom, right? I'm glad, I'm glad he did that. I'm glad it showed us doing that. It's like little things like that that it's, I'm glad, you know, the director or the author or whatever remembers to do. What is that? What is happening here? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> He's not going to go tell them that he's still alive before he starts any of this other training. He he would be. He really would be. Goju's super strong. Uh, at least tell them you're alive, Yuji. Come on. Well, but maybe them not knowing that he's alive acts as like a source of strength and a source to improve. So I guess they need this, I suppose. He is the strongest, apparently. Even the curses think that. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he, fired, he kind of fired Cursed Energy at the one on the right and then manipulated the can on the left, so. Oh, I get, I get, I get it. Yeah, I get this. So, he, so Yuji doesn't have anything like that. <laughs> oh, I love this show. That's <laughs> Sengar. <laughs> you just can't use them yet. Ooh. Kamehameha. <laughs> he just transformed back. Alright, so he has the ability to release cursed energy, but he just doesn't have any cursed techniques yet. Okay. <laughs> Gyoken. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I love everything about this episode. It's so good. Terrible French movies. <laughs> It's got a point. This is such a weird way to learn to be able to use cursed energy. Oh. God, this is going to be so cool. Oh, she's shopping. <laughs> Just as I was getting to the good part. Yes, he did. Or did he forget the promise? Oh, he must have forgotten the promise then. Ah, ha, ha. now I understand it. So the promise, the promise binds him whenever he says the uh, extension or something. But he doesn't remember the promise. So, but if he tries to break it, then Sukuno gets some ability over him. But his body will remember it. His mind just doesn't. Ah, this is all right. This is interesting. Oh my god, it's this guy. Oh, I really... How long's left in this... This, uh... Oh, no, there's not much left le left in the episode. No! Oh, I really want to see that fight. God, we're going to have to wait another week for it. So, uh, Gojo's going up against someone with, uh, with eight to nine fingers. Ooh. All right, let's mute that. Um, so, oh my god, was that a funny and good episode. Like... I don't even know where to start. This, there was just so much, so much good about that episode. We got to talk about uh, the conditions between Yuji's and Sukuno's pact. We got to talk about the difference between cursed techniques and cursed energy. We see Yuji come back, but he's not saying to Megami or Nobuda yet about him being alive again to keep them as a source of kind of like keeping going for them to get stronger. Um, we also see uh, Megami like being able to learn a new technique, which he is kind of a hard technique to learn, but apparently he thinks he's be able to do it, which is awesome to see that he's, you know, kind of on the level that he can defeat special grades. Um, or he will get to that level anyway. And then now we have in the end, Gojo versus the, uh, I'm just going to call him Buggy because I don't remember his name right now. <laughs> but the fact that this guy's worth eight to nine fingers and the scene in the cafe where everybody was just burning up, my God. The show is just so interesting, and I'm just going to keep coming back to this, but I really, really love how the strong people in the show, um, like, show their strengths, like, non-stop. Like, just straight out of it, how when Yuji agreed to fight Sukuno, Sukuno just laid him out instantly. Like, uh, I just can't explain how much I like this and like the idea of the show. Like, it's really well done, and I'm really enjoying it. 
And I'm really looking forward to the rest of the episodes. So that's all I really have to say. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day. And peace out.